Today's video is a special request from my viewers. They wanted me to go do an extended bike ride through the town. So yesterday I went from here to Nakompanom on my bicycle, spent the evening. It was a fun day. Half, the, half of the video is just driving around through Nakompanom. So yeah, today is Sunday. So me and Paige are gonna try to go to the river tonight and bring you guys along for the next, for tomorrow's video and talk about what's happening in Thailand and what's next for us. So anyway, I hope you guys watched that video. I hope you watched today's video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I'm sure I've got probably 10 thumbs down two minutes after this video has started. So thumbs up is appreciated, guys. Subscribe, I'll see you guys uh, on this video. I'm going into Kompanom on my bike by myself. I'm gonna spend the night there. I don't think anything's really open still. Still have a 10 o'clock curfew. I'm usually in bed about eight anyway. We're gonna have a fun day. We're gonna get out of Top Panom and I'm gonna take a break. Okay. We're out of here. Oh, the smell of durian. The smell of durian in the morning. A lot of people ask, why the hell do you look like you're uh, headed to the Arctic? all covered up like that in Thailand it's hot as shit well when you're riding a bike it's okay when you stop it's not okay but getting a, a sunburn being on a bicycle and a cup for a couple hours it sucks so I'll just deal with a little bit of a detox than having friggin second degree burns in case you were wondering it's gonna be a little bit more traffic than usual but i figure now's a good time to go while you know there's still a curfew and things are still pretty chill not allowed to sell alcohol inside businesses so it's going to be quiet, I think. I've been told they still have the walking street, uh, this, the, the weekend walking street, which is pretty cool. So maybe we'll check it out. Nakong Phnom, it's hot outside. <laughs> it, uh, the road is crazy busy right now, very dirty. A lot of road construction too. Anyway, let's go see if we can get a, uh, a room here. Payana. A lot of people ask me about Nakong Phnom. How do you get to Nakong Phnom? How do you get from the Kong Phnom to Top Phnom? Well, I made a video about 10 things to do in the Kong Phnom. It has a lot of information on how to get here. How, thing, a lot of cool things to do. If you come to Thailand, it's super easy to come here. Just check out the video. I'll post it right here. And uh, come to Top Phnom. It's really cool. A lot of people, there's a lot of Falangs here now that have watched the channel and a lot of people that come to Thailand that come here and that want to live in Thailand and Isan especially, they like Tap Nakong Phnom. So check out the video. This is a pretty big town. They don't have an entertainment district here. They don't have like a, uh, uh, like a little red light district really, you know. There's a few Thai bars and uh, yeah, it's a beautiful town. I would love to get a massage right now, but I can't because they're uh, they're all closed up. Not allowed to have a a massage yet because a hundred people in Thailand have 
So Rona. So maybe next month. There's a huge church here too if you're into that. Over here is the Nakompanon bus station. Right here. It uh buses are running a little bit right now. We have a bus station also in Top Phnom, in case you didn't know. Okay, we're gonna go check into the 41 Studio, 495 baht. Should be extremely quiet today. We'll see. So what do you have? So what do you have? No. Thai. Lawn. Lawn, ma. Lawn, ma. Okay. Welcome to the dungeon. <laughs> 495 baht. It's freaking hot. But this is a decent room. The bed is soft, and the bathroom has soap and shampoo which is good when you're traveling with no gear let's go get some lunch how about chelsea's we'll get some uh some falang food today i will tell you right now this video is not going to be super exciting it's really just a way for me to get out of the house look at something different talk to myself for a while shit I guess I do that all the way all the time anyway really but uh I just want to go somewhere different and get away I really love Top Phnom I mean Nakong Phnom is very I don't know it's clean it's alive there's a big giant Tesco Lotus here all the mega home all the all the uh, global house it's got of course the macro i take you guys to and the big c big c also has a uh, a um, a movie theater of course it's in thai i just found out today i, I only watched a little bit of the uh the daily I don't know what the hell this guy's doing. He's probably going to run me over. A little bit of the daily report. And today is the second. Well, actually, Sunday will be the really the second week of the restriction. So I, a little bit of preview was like they were going to they weren't going to end the curfew, but they were going to extend the hour to like 11 o'clock and then open up some more businesses. I'm not sure about it would be good if you could drink beer in a restaurant, you know? But I don't, I don't think that's, I don't know. We'll find out. I think they said something about foot massage. Who knows? We got a few more cases today, but that's just because they're coming in from other countries. They're, they're Thai people uh, coming in from other countries and they're sick. So it bumps our number up, you know? But uh, I think, yeah. 
I hope the number is almost zero by the time the end of the month, you know? I think they realize that it's, you know, it's not happening really that much within Thailand, people getting the virus. I'm tired of talking about that shit, man, really. I know you guys are tired of hearing about it too. I'm just sharing some thoughts. What else are we gonna do, right? Look at this badass triumph right here. That's pretty cool, ain't it? We're gonna go take a ride on the uh, the bike trail on the river. I don't know if you guys saw the video with uh, me, Paige, Klaus, and Thune came up here one day and they have a Royal Enfield dealership. These things are cool, but they close down. I guess not a whole lot of people here want to spend 170,000 baht on a motorbike, but anyway, I was looking at it one day and they go, you want to test drive it? I'm like, like yeah. Okay, go ahead. Flip flops, no helmet, no motorcycle license, no deposit, no license. Just go ahead and get on it and uh, take it for a spin. I'm like, okay, bye. <laughs> anyway, the thing was pretty cool. This thing is beautiful at night. All lit up. It's really cool. These people at these big hotels, man, they're just <laughs> trying to find shit to do, you know? I'm going down around one way, I know. It's okay, the bike path is here. Let's see if we can get through without running anyway. See if we can get by this guy. Cut to what cut. It's not there, huh? I'll tell you, I've said this before. Um, if you're on a bicycle, you've got like zero right away. <laughs> Like the pedestrians or can just they just walk in front of them, give a shit. So don't get upset, they're all hanging out on the bike path. It doesn't matter. A lot of places they make like a walking path, a jogging path, and bike path, you know, so that there's no problems. But I've been out here at night and uh, Thai people just ring the damn bell the whole time on their bicycle. Indogene Market. Decent food up on the top. You can sit up there and drink a beer. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just sitting here having an awesome lunch. Uh, one of my favorite dishes, Yamu Ya. Of course, uh, I don't know why, but beer tastes so much better after a long bike ride. Oh, they're getting ready for their night market tonight. I forgot. We'll check it out. I'm sure they're going to have it early because they got to shut down at 10. I don't think they're going to do the 11 o'clock till Monday. I don't know. It's yeah, I never really know 100% in Thailand. I think a lot of times with Thai people, if they just hear the rumor that something's gonna happen, they just believe it anyway. This is a cool ass bike path. This bike path, but this is going all the way to my house in Tapanom eventually. 55 kilometers maybe longer. There was rumors that it was going all the way to Mugdahan. But uh, 
Yeah. If it's this smooth all the way, that's gonna be cool. Of course, there's no way, nowhere to stop. Maybe use the bathroom or, you know, stuff like that. That might come later. I think that dude's got a flat. I don't have my patch kit. A lot of these restaurants are cool at nighttime, but I, there's a lot of shit places here too that are just, I don't know, like they, they fix that place up a little bit. Here's a Falan. He looks like he's having a hard time. Okay. It's a little bit of a ride. I don't want to... Well, I'll keep the camera on for just a minute. But this is how it looks the whole way. At nighttime, this is all lit up. Beautiful. But I think this thing is like... From the beginning where it starts to the end shit you know i've never really calculated it i've never i've never looked at my my speedo to say but i think it's like four or five kilometers so back and forth you know 10 kilometer and when you get to the end of this bike path that's chelsea's restaurant that i'm going to right now and this is you know the main well, one of the main roads and then here's the friggin' river so you can figure it out also if you go on google maps and just type in chelsea's you'll see a google map link that's always the easiest thing to do yeah if you guys want to come here and rent a bike I'm telling you, if you can remember, we just came up the, the road up to the Payana statue where we're staying. That road right there also is the same road that the airport is on. But about two blocks before you get to the Payana, if you're looking at the Payana, it's on the right hand side. There's a bike shop that you can rent rent bikes right there they're like yellow yellow bikes that guy looks mexican okay we are almost at the end of the bike path handicap ramp they oh they opened it up now so you could take a right right here and go to the um see on this new bike path they got a walking and a, a bicycle section but you could go there this is going to go a lot further i think it's going to go down all the way to the friendship bridge which is another 15 kilometers from here this is chelsea's restaurant right here this orange sign and uh, you can get awesome falang food here. And they're open. Oh, yeah. So what do you cop? My lawn now. <laughs> lawn. Lawn, Mark. I'm okay. How are you? Mati out. Are you open? Yeah. You have no customer? They're very quiet, quiet, but yesterday we were very busy. Very busy, a lot of flungs? Yeah, a few flungs, yeah. Come from Nage. You guys remember Dun, right? She makes the best everything. Everything oh, is the best. Thank you. Everything. I'm making a little video today. I have nothing to do, so I come by myself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go sit down and eat and drink like 10 beers. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Maybe next month. I don't know. Super beautiful. She owns this too next door. It's two stories, and I think, I don't know how many rooms are here, but um, she rents these out. Uh, think American 
lives downstairs and American lives upstairs too. I know the guy up top is American. There's somebody down there. Oh, getting flowers. Tamalai. Not my. How are you? Sebai D. Anyway, beautiful, isn't it? How many how many tenants do you have here? How many people do you have live in here? Okay, Two. Yeah. One on the top, one underneath. Okay, this is her menu. Of course it's in English and Thai. Hang on. Let's see, we have Thai food and Falang food. But she has a lot of stuff I think that's not on the menu. <laughs> the steak is actually pretty good. What about the German sausage? Is that is that good? No? Alright. <laughs> Only one. Psycho. Only one. Only one. Only okay. one. Um, I don't know what to get. What should I get? You want to fry a sausage? Okay. Sausage with French fries, maybe. What's it come with? Coming with. Uh, you want French fry? I can give you French fry, or you want. Uh... Do you have mashed potatoes? Yeah. You oh, want mashed potatoes. I want mashed potato. Mash. Oh, they're not mashed potatoes. But near enough. Okay, I want near enough mashed okay. potato. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> I forgot to tell you guys too that whenever you do come, whenever you get to come, and whenever you come to Nakom Panom, she's building a hotel right here on the river. I took you guys by there on another video. But anyway, she speaks English. She's lived in the UK for a long time. Her boyfriend slash husband is also from the UK and he lives here with her fun guy he's the one I went and played golf with in my golfing video called uh, billionaire golf course Courtney, what's your favorite thing about Thailand? The favorite thing about Thailand? <laughs> the pace of life. But the worst thing is the Thai workers in the... And, um, yeah, they're building a hotel and she will actually go make sure you get a ride here from the airport. I think she said she'll have a couple of bike rentals, maybe even a motorbike, but uh, she can make sure she you get here from the airport. So I think by the time you guys can come, I'll have already had a review of the hotel and all that stuff. Uh, I think she's gonna have a website too, so you guys can talk to her prior to coming and set up a time to come. But yeah, option. Look at that. That is German sausage. She makes very good coleslaw too. Garlic bread. And she said that was somewhat of some kind of almost mashed potatoes. Very cool. Let's get into this bad boy. We were going to eat at some place in uh, Kok Chang that had German sausage. But they were closed. Hmm. How do you say Aloy Mak Mak in German? <laughs> Very good. I think that's like cheese or something. Mm. 
That's pretty good for almost mashed potatoes. Mm. Really good. I'm going to eat. I asked her, I said, uh, how do you say Aloe uh, Mach in German? And she said, Smack good. Smack good? Yeah. <laughs> I said, are you sure? She said, yeah, she knows, you know, cuss words too? You know bad words? No. no. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. The mashed potatoes, the almost mashed potatoes are good. Thank you. Very good. Okay, see you next time. Tell Courtney I said hello. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. See you, bye-bye. Have a good journey home. I see you next week. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's go check out this ride my bike through the market. This place is usually packed at night. This is traditional Isan music right there. Um, before the virus situation, but we only had like four in ours. A lot of younger people in this town, you know. I think all the younger people left Top and Own to go somewhere else. Well, it looks like it's going to be really busy tonight. That's cool. I'm glad to see things getting back to normal. Whatever that means. Very cool. You never know. <laughs> they're gonna stop, they're gonna turn, you're gonna back up. Some more bike rentals right next to the Indogene market. This is a one way. <laughs> Probably not safe right now because it's road block. I was gonna try to take you guys down to that bike rental place. I don't think I can get there from here. Oh well. That green building right there is the bike rental place. The Payana statue is right there, and that's the bike rental. It's closed right now, though. Danger. Antalai. Danger in Thai languages. Antalai. Antalai. Danger. I'm back at the at the hotel. I'm gonna freshen up. I got one Leo beer. <laughs> Gotta go drink it in my room though. <laughs> okay. Now that the temperature's good, let's go for a, another bike ride through Mukdahan. I mean Mukdahan. Through Nakompano.
back here by the bus station. Doesn't look real exciting, huh? a night market every night big night market we are on the back side the back side of Nakompano town not the not the whole province but just the town okay and I'm sure what you're doing said no sports activities but looks like they're having a lot of sports activities there there's some uh, exercise this town is alive good to see it Antalai, <laughs> my little cargo strap back in the back is making a lot of noise. My uh, microphone's very sensitive. They are building another hospital here, big hospital. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's a government, government hospital. Okay, we are back over here on the bike trail. We are just, uh, I told you where the bike path ended was where Chelsea's is, right over here. But we're gonna go back this way towards the bridge. There's a big church right here. Uh, you probably can't see it from here. From here, I think this bike path goes down maybe about eight or nine kilometers altogether. I don't come this way much. There's a, a big, I usually ride to the Tai Lao Bridge up here, but I take the main road because there was a lot of construction here. Looks like there still kind of is. It's a little rough here, but it's okay. And dangerous. <laughs> See how, don't worry about that shit. Probably need to get on the main road. I 
I'm sure they're gonna fix all this stuff here. Probably what they're doing right now. But if you like to exercise, plenty of it in this town. If you like just to be in a quiet area. <laughs> Remember, I told you guys about depth perception before. I'm, I've rode with a bunch of Thai guys before. Very dangerous. They didn't fall when I was with them, but they had a big crash one day when I wasn't there. This is the uh, Thai Navy down here. It's like their barracks. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. I've never taken you guys back here before. So this is a, an adventure. I still see people wearing face masks and riding bikes. So I've got my face shield on, but um, here the guy's really strict, 20,000 baht fine. But I believe they said you could, I know for sure they said you don't have to wear it when jogging, but I'm not 100% sure on the bicycle. And I don't know, I have my face mask with me too though. Whatever, right? We don't have the top and all. Okay, I'm gonna turn off my camera right now. Beautiful, isn't it? Down there in the distance is the Tai Lao Bridge. Very beautiful. Especially if you had a 250 horsepower Yamaha engine out there. <laughs> there are hotels out here. This is a nice one here, pretty new, called Blue Hotel. Looks like they're building another one out here. I guess it's a good time this year to start a project like that, you know? Except trying to find builders. Nice haircut. Scout doggy. Hello, friendly doggy.
Very cool bike path, huh? Good morning. <laughs> I didn't film at all last night. Actually, I did, but I didn't realize that my uh, friggin' memory card had an error and it didn't. When I hit the play, it wasn't recording. So I'm not at my computer to verify it. But anyway, I want to do something different today. It's very windy coming this way this morning. So I'm going to try to show you guys how to catch a song tail and uh, see if we can't uh, get a ride to uh, Nakom Panom, to Top Panom in a song tail with a whole shitload of Thai people and my bicycle. We'll see how that works out. We'll go down here a little further. Try to find some shade, wait for one to come. Usually they're, there's, there's a bunch of them, so they just come like maybe 10, 15 minutes apart. Just an uh, old beat up yellow Toyota pickup truck with a box on the back with some benches. It's called a song cow. All right, we'll just sit here and wait for a uh, yellow truck to come this way. And uh, if it's not too full of people, we'll flag them down. Commercial. This guy sells the uh, shades that we have. My father-in-law bought the shade for the front of the house, but they sell the shade with the stick and probably will install it right away. I really want to catch this song towel because <laughs> I really want to see the reaction of their face with a falang jumping in the back of, uh, of, of the song towel with them with a bicycle. <laughs> Maybe, uh, maybe I could annoy them with a bunch of questions, right? Uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Hopefully one will show up. Okay, I see one coming and it's, it's actually a bigger one, which is good. The, uh, they have a real small one and, and a kind of a medium sized one. So let's see if he'll stop for me. I'll show you how to get him to stop. I do I tap on all top? Okay. Okay, cop. Up to top. He's not going. He's going to Pan Klang. Eh, it's halfway. I could have just went with him. Ah, it's okay. We'll wait for the next one. Maybe the smaller one I think will be fun. Oh, I forgot to mention, you don't have to ride in a crappy song towel if you don't want to. There are little Toyota shuttle van buses that run back and forth from here to Tapanom. Just the same price. It's like 50 baht. Um, it's like one baht per kilometer. So if you want to ride in an air-conditioned... Uh, vehicle instead of the back of a tube tube which I think is or I mean a song towel which I think is funny or funner and funny uh, I would just go in the in the song towel it's the same price if you got a crap load of luggage when you're coming here it's gonna be more but for me if I put my bike in there I'm gonna give them more anyway I'll probably it's 50 baht from here to top Panom but if I put my bike in there I'll just give them a hundred baht and that should be okay I forgot today is Saturday. <laughs> I usually never come up here on the weekends because it's busy, but since there's nothing happening, everything's closed, I thought I would come today. So I forgot they don't run. I thought they didn't run on Sunday, but apparently Saturday too. So I'm gonna go right up here and see if I can find one. If, if I do, I'll... I won't end the video, but I'm going to end the video now because my battery is about to die. I had to get another damn SD card to uh, hopefully I can get my SD card to work in my <laughs> or I'm going to lose this entire video from yesterday. But uh, anyway, I will uh, see if I can catch one. If not, 
thank you for coming with me today. If you like the video anyway, please uh, don't forget to uh, click the like button and subscribe. I didn't do any fancy editing on this video, sorry, but uh, just wanted to bring you guys for the little bike ride. I'll see you guys on the next video, bye.